Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the best Planeswalker in Battle for Zendikar. Right now there's a lot of pre-order speculation. Planeswalkers are typically the most flashy of the bunch. Is there a Planeswalker in this particular bunch that I feel like will go up in price? No, I don't see an Elspeth, I don't see a Kiora, it's very close. So I'm going to rank them from Gideon all the way to Obnix. I'll just call him Obnix. Obnix I have as my last powerful planeswalker. He reminds me a tremendous amount of Raska, and that's not necessarily like a compliment there. I obviously loved Raska, and I'll be the first to tell you uh, Raska was quite appealing when she came out. Now, his plus one, the drawing a card ability, way better than Vraska's plus one, but at the same time, his ultimate is a little meh, and his second ability isn't as strong as Vraska. So you're hedging everything on that his plus one ability is that much, much better. And remember, Vraska saw no play at all. She saw very limited play. Um, even before the dual decks, she was around $5. Uh, I had a whole collection of her. So I've kept price I you know I've kept the price with her and uh, Nick's not in my opinion the type of planeswalker now maybe mono black or Grixis control becomes a good deal and he finds a home there but power level wise not exactly groundbreaking number two I have Kiora Kiora I like her second ability it I think there's a card called inspiration at instant speed that you draw two cards with no selection uh, obviously, Kiara is a little bit better uh, than that, and for sorcery speed, you're paying two and a blue to draw two cards. Kiara gives you a little bit of selection. Yeah, you can miss many times, but she is a build around me card. I like her a lot. Her ultimate duff definitely seems like an ultimate to me. I mean, if uh, you were going to go with a end the game scenario, Kiara would be the planeswalker. Now, the reason I don't have Kiara as number one. Um, it's because Gideon. Gideon is just so much better. Um, his put a 2-2 ally creature into play is fantastic. Uh, I don't really need to say too much about that. Anytime you have a planeswalker that produces tokens. Like Soren, Lord of Innistrad, if you watch the World Magic Championship, he was mainly being used to produce tokens. And uh, he won. I mean, he, he absolutely dominated many times. You know, it's Rhino against Rhino, and whoever has Soren to help them out will win uh, the game. So, I, in my opinion, uh, Gideon, given the fact that he can generate allies every turn to protect himself, uh, when you look at a Planeswalker, you have to look at does he or she protect herself well, or him or her well, and Gideon definitely does that. So, Gideon is my number one Planeswalker. Um, it might be interesting to look at him from a speculation standpoint later on, but right now with all this hype and things of this nature, I think his pre-order price, I think all of their pre-order prices are a tiny bit high. Anyway, um, leave a comment below with what, who your favorite new Planeswalker from Battle for Zendikar is and why and uh, where do you expect the price to be, what type of deck do you feel like they'll end up, and yeah, or give me your top list of Planeswalkers for Battle for Zendikar. Bye, guys.